Okay, so uh, hello everyone. So today's agenda, we will talk about Copado and uh, some uh, awesome tools for admins. And we can uh, also have some uh, recap about uh, Zahu Dreaming. Your hosts, it's Shiba and uh, me, Hussam. I can let you, uh, Shiba, introduce yourself. Yeah, thanks, Hazim, for being such a gracious uh, co-host. Um, so uh, I am based out of San Francisco, East, East Bay area, and uh, I've been in mass communication field for the last 15 years, in technology field for 10 years, and in Salesforce for the last five years. And um, uh, so uh, currently I'm working as a senior Salesforce consultant with Jamf, and I've, I've also co-founded a 501c3 nonprofit, kindcause.org. So that's all about me, Hosem. Okay, thank you. you. So uh, for me, I will introduce yourself uh, later. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's start our event. We will start uh, talking about uh, DevOps and uh, Popado. So um, hello everyone. I'm so excited to be here with you today at uh, San Ramo Admin Group and uh, the Casablanca Developer Group. It's my uh, my group. <laughs> Before we start, let's take um, a pause for a moment and say big thank you for all of you today. I really appreciate your presence and participation with us today. And uh, today we will discuss about uh, Copado and uh, DevOps. And uh, why I picked this topic? Because a uh, lot of people want to learn DevOps recently. So, uh, but before we start, uh, let's talk a little bit about my uh, favorite uh, topic, me, myself, and I. So uh, for people who don't know me, I'm Hossam from uh, Casablanca, Morocco. And uh, when I was a child, I had a dream to be a teacher of the French language. But, uh, uh, but after that, I uh, changed my, uh, my uh, dream into, and I want to become an uh, engineer. And uh, right now I'm a Salesforce architect, a Salesforce technical lead. I'm also Salesforce MVP, uh, and uh, I have 16. Uh, I'm 16 times certified, and I'm leader of the Casablanca Developer Group and the North Africa Dreaming Organizer. And uh, also I'm a speaker uh, at uh, Dreaming and the uh, user groups around the world. And uh, now let's start uh, talking about uh, our topic. But uh, before we start, uh, just uh, to clarify an important notice, looking for the statement, I'm not a Copado employee, so uh, please make your purchasing decision by contacting the Copado team. I just uh, I will just share with you my knowledge about uh, Copado, but if you want to buy Copado, you can contact them. So uh, here is an overview of uh, the topic we will cover during this session. First, I will teach you about uh, what is DevOps, why uh, DevOps, and uh, some we will talk about some changes in the development lifecycle management. After that, we will talk uh, about uh, the Copado uh, company, and uh, after that, how to install uh, Copado. And uh, also, I prepared for you a demo. And also I can share with you some resources. And uh, yeah, we have also, I will share with you uh, also a voucher just uh, for people who, who uh, want to uh, take their uh, exam. So what is DevOps? DevOps, it's a combination of practices that uh, automate and enable greater effectiveness in the process of building and running software. And uh, DevOps combine technical practices of continuous delivery. Continuous delivery, I mean, you can get, for example, your changes all the way to production quickly, safely, and sustainable as possible. And business also and business practices. For example, you need to learn uh, learn management or learn uh, product development. Uh, 
DevOps, it's all about building a culture of collaboration between teams that in the past functioned separately. For example, if we have a team, a lot of developers, they can work together with, uh, with DevOps. So why DevOps? DevOps, uh, as I told you, um, it's a combination. In a term that combined the word dev which stand for development, those who create new functionality, and ops, which stand for IT operations. Uh, I mean those who run that software in production. Um, the term implies a collaboration between these teams that should be motivated by the common goal to uh, enhance both innovation and stability. Uh, so uh, also uh, why we need uh, DevOps, because um, a lot of companies started to, to look for uh, tools to improve their, uh, their uh, deployment. And uh, DevOps is here. Now let's talk a little bit about some challenges in the development life cycle management. As you know, uh, Salesforce projects can be complex and involve different teams across your company. Complex projects demand as well planned process and DevOps represents a collection of proven practices. When you begin to, um, to Salesforce development, you may encounter a wide variety of challenges. For example, uh, for example, this is our First, uh, first case, uh, now clear overview of the whole process. I mean, when you begin the Salesforce development, uh, sure, uh, mainly uh, you uh, encounter a lot of challenges. The first thing you encounter is that there is no clear overview of the whole process. You may have this question, I think. Uh, for example, uh, where do changes happen? Should they start in Dev1 or Dev2? Or uh, can I implement my changes directly in production? Uh, we can also have some other questions like, uh, which environment do I need to deploy to first? Is it UIT or integration? Who is going to approve my changes? These are some of the questions that may pop up in your mind. Uh, without a structure, your release cycle is a mess. If you are unsure about delivering your changes up to production, automating the process is impossible. We have also uh, other challenges like uh, change set limitations. Companies uh, spend a lot of time building changes, uh, change set. Uh, here are some of limitations of uh, change set. For example, uh, change sets do not offer the capability to search components by name or type. And uh, as a developer, you are forced to browse through multiple pages to find the metadata items uh, you want to select. Uh, also, we have uh, other challenges with uh, change set. Like uh, if you are accidentally added a component, you cannot filter within your selections to remove the component quickly. And this is not easy for developers. And uh, we have other, um, other some limitations about change set, like uh, with change set, all selected components come in in a single list. So you can't scope which modification is based on which request. And um, also, for example, we change sets, um, do not able continuous delivery and automate, automation of development. It's not an easy task if you want with the change set. Let's explore other, um, other uh, challenges. Uh, the third one um, is difficulty keeping environment in sync, synchronized. And uh, release teams struggle with sandbox uh, sync scene after deploying to a higher environment. For example, um, if a company uses a hotfix sandbox to uh, develop and push fix, fixes to production, 
lower environments will show a disparency uh, regarding the production environments. These differences can lead to deployment errors and a blocked pipeline. Uh, and this is a very hard uh, stuff. For example, we can also have uh, some metadata loss. So all the work in progress in a sandbox will be overwriting after the refresh. Uh, also, uh, for example, full sandboxes can only be refreshed once per month. Therefore, uh, they can't easily receive changes that were sent from a hotfix environment to a production. Uh, and we have uh, some other uh, challenges uh, like uh, uh, email. So uh, whenever a sandbox is refreshed, user email addresses are modified in the sandbox so that production users don't receive automated email messages from the sandbox. And uh, we need to change every time the emails to notify uh, people. Um, also, we have uh, data loss. So unless you are refreshing a full or partial copy sandbox, you will lose uh, all data. So this is some uh, challenges um, if uh, you want uh, to talk about uh, org and synchronize the org. Other uh, challenge, it's the lack of history tracking. So uh, this is a major issue when multiple developers work in the same environment and perform changes in the same components. As um, mentioned, uh, as I mentioned, uh, when you work with change set, you have no visibility on how has made what changes. And uh, there is a no tool where we don't have a tools for you to, uh, to see uh, what's, what's happened and uh, the history. Also, uh, let's talk now about difficulty uh, for teams to collaborate. So uh, Salesforce makes uh, this uh, amazingly uh, easy for individuals to build changes, but it was not made with collaborations for large team uh, if you work with a large team. As your team grows, uh, you may find it challenging to collaborate and to synchronize environment also, and uh, tracking the history, and uh, being unable uh, to merge changes on line by line basics uh, is difficult. So we are reducing your team's possibilities to collaborate and work together. This is just a few uh, challenges that we receive when we uh, talk about deployment. That's why we have tools like uh, Copado. So uh, Copado, uh, just uh, for uh, your information and for uh, some history, Copado was born in uh, 2013 from an idea of a developer and uh, an architect who were uh, fed up with uh, scripting and writing uh, manual, uh, manual uh, tasks and manual uh, code to uh, to deploy this, uh, this, um, this development. And um, they don't, didn't work uh, at night, uh, on weekends to achieve the objectives, which are the deploying in production, for example. Copado, let's talk now uh, about uh, Copado. Copado, it's a scalable uh, Salesforce native applications that uh, provides value and uh, every, in every stage of the Salesforce DevOps process by uh, leveraging agile methodologies, quality and compliance features um, and effortless integration uh, with Git. Um, and we don't need to learn Git to work with Copado. This is a good for you. We can imagine Copado like um, orchestrator business transformation uh, on the Salesforce platform. Um, so uh, we can work with Copado to, uh, to deploy quickly uh, without problem. Uh, we have history. Um, without problem. And this is some um, 
some customers around the world. So we can see uh, big customers like uh, Coca-Cola, like uh, Toyota, like uh, um, can see other uh, other uh, clients here. Now let's talk a uh, little bit about uh, the go live gap. So uh, Cupado has positioning means uh, covering the go live gap. So we all know that Salesforce is a good solution that allows you to uh, go quickly, which allow you to develop quickly, etc. However, you were all faced in doing a number of, of uh, actions manually. Uh, and uh, as I uh, told you, uh, you start maybe write some scripts or modify them uh, to, to, and uh, maybe also you can uh, push by error your development uh, in production. And uh, this happened a lot. <laughs> Uh, and after that, you need to uh, create hotfix and correct your uh, your uh, error. So uh, when we have a lot of developer, when we have uh, a lot of sandboxes, when we have a big team, uh, now we need, in this time, we need a tool like Copado. And uh, there are many, uh, many other tools but uh, now we will talk about uh, Copado. So um, this is some models that we can found in uh, Copado. So um, Copado after that will inherit security and availability from Salesforce. Uh, and as I told you, Copado is a managed package uh, and uh, there are some uh, good uh, features for example if you want to test your uh, code if you want to merge conflict and uh, if you want to deploy uh, in other um, other environments if you want also to monitor your org it's possible with copado uh, uh, also uh, we can match your, uh, your copado with uh, jira uh, for example, if you have some user stories in Jira, you can connect those user story with uh, Copado and uh, start uh, to uh, deploy uh, uh, without any problem. And if, for example, if you have some uh, errors, you can merge your code uh, without any problem. Uh, we have these uh, tools, uh, they can merge uh, the conflict and uh, resolve the problems. Uh, and uh, today I can, uh, for example, um, do for you a quick demo to present you uh, some uh, tools and some features. How to install uh, Copado? So you can install Copado from uh, Success Community, Copado Success Community, uh, where you can find the links to, to install the last test version along with extra information such as upgrade instructions, release notice, and uh, also we can found a release calendar also. And um, Copado, it's, as I told you, a Salesforce managed package, and uh, you only need to install it in one org, which will act as your governance org. Copado will connect to other uh, Salesforce orgs using uh, OAuth uh, authentication uh, access method. So um, after that, um, you will be asked to enter your Salesforce login details for your uh, production, for your governance org, uh, from the security options. For example, uh, you can uh, check uh, install uh, admins uh, only and then you can improve third party access. And um, yeah, and uh, when we install Copado in uh, production, we can uh, use it for other sandboxes. Uh, before we start our demo, let's talk a little bit about uh, some uh, words. So, uh, so uh, for example, credentials. Uh, what is credential um, in uh, Copado? A credential is a connection between uh, a user 
and the Salesforce environment. Uh, so uh, you can, for example, uh, work with Copado uh, if you need to make a connection. So the second option, it's a user story or uh, the second term, it's a user story. So user story is uh, the smallest unit of work in the Agile framework. Um, and uh, as you know, if you work in Agile, it's an informal general explanation of software future, writing from the perspective of the end user or a customer. So we have the same, uh, same uh, definition. Environment. The third one is environment. Environment uh, in Cupado represents a Salesforce organization or instance uh, of an application in other clouds such as Heroku or Milsoft, etc. Uh, the next um, word is commit. What is a commit? Commit is a process used in Cupado to link changes to a user story and record these changes in a Git repository. Uh, this committed changes will be later deployed to different environments in your pipeline. Therefore, it is uh, essential to commit just uh, what you need. After that, let's talk now about uh, project. Project is a container of uh, your user stories. In other words, uh, it's a project is a proposed or planned uh, undertaking of changes that will be made in Salesforce on in other clouds such as Heroku. Uh, now let's talk about uh, release. Uh, release lets you group user stories to promote them together and keep track of the version of uh, changes that your uh, application experiences after every deployment. Now let's talk about uh, pipeline. So uh, pipeline is just uh, a list of uh, connections defining uh, a path in, uh, with, in which components will move through to release management processes. Whenever you work with the user stories and there are projects uh, linked to a pipeline. And uh, the last word, uh, it's GitHub. So for people who don't know what is GitHub, GitHub uh, is a host for Git repositories with collaboration features that let you apply and test changes to your code. Um, let's make it sit, uh, simple. Uh, in Git terms, uh, GitHub serve, serves as a remote uh, and uh, giving developers an accessible source of truth for their uh, shared work. So this is just a few words that uh, we need to know before we start our uh, demo. And now let's uh, start our demo. Mm. So this is uh, my org, production org. And uh, as you see here, I have a pipeline, I have a project, user stories, uh, sprint, uh, etc. And uh, now let's start by uh, talking about uh, pipeline manager. So let's see uh, what, uh, what we have in this uh, pipeline manager. In the pipeline manager, we can find uh, all our sandboxes like uh, Dev1, like Dev2, like uh, production, UIT. So, um, okay, the page is refreshed. Okay, so we have some environment like Dev1, like Dev2, UIT, Hotfix, production. This is my uh, sandboxes and this is my production. And I can, for example, refresh pipeline if I want, for example. So as I told you, uh, the main, uh, when we start talking about Agile, we need to know what is user story. And uh, if you work, if you have already, uh, for example, Jira or other tools uh, that we work with, we can stay working with uh, Jira, for example, and uh, you can make a connection between uh, Copado 
and uh, and your Jira. Uh, in my case, my demo, uh, I'm not connected my uh, Copado with Jira, but I can create uh, here user stories. Let's start and let's create my uh, first uh, user story. So I need to uh, click here, new. I choose user story. Next. After that, uh, I can here um, put uh, a title. For example, let's create an object called car. Uh, okay, so uh, car. Um, car, uh, test car, okay. car okay the project i need to choose a project so uh, i uh, choose my project after that team i can uh, assign this 